Right, so if we looked at this first set right here. You have 4x cubed times 10x cubed. Would that be considered a power function? If you reduce what you have, 4 times 10 is 40. x cubed times x cubed is x to the 6th. So does this have a real number coefficient in front and a real number power with nothing being added or subtracted? Yes. So this one is a power function. And what about the next one? Square root of x minus 10. Here it has something being added or subtracted, so this is no. What about x squared? Yes. Pretty straightforward. What about 6x plus 7? Again, has something added to it, so no. And 4x cubed plus 7? Also has something added to it, so no. Okay, what about, what if I did this? f of x is equal to the square root of x. Would that be considered a power function? What is the, what is the power that's associated with a square root? What rational power? One half. Is one half a real number? Yeah, is there a real number coefficient? Yeah, nothing being added or subtracted. So would this be considered a power function? Yes. Okay. All right. So I want you to see uh, if you can answer the remaining five okay, and identify whether those are or are not power functions, again, based on the rules that we just talked about and the example that we just did. All right. So let's take a look at our first function. If you expand this out, we get negative x squared plus 6x. Does that fit the form that we were looking at? No, it has something being added to it, so this one would be considered no. Okay, what about 5 to the power of x? No, our variable has to be the base here. <coughs> what about 6 over x to the fifth? So again, think about what this is just like we did here. Think about what this would be with x written here. x to the what power would represent division of x to the fifth? Not to the one-fifth. So again, the one-fifth represents a radical. But what moves uh, base from the numerator to the denominator? A negative, right? So this is really x to the minus fifth. And so looking at that, is minus 5 a real number? Yes. Is 6 a real number? Yeah, is there anything added or subtracted on the outside? No, so this would be an example of the power function. Okay, what about the next one? When you simplify it, again, the one thing to keep in mind for both multiplying here and adding and subtracting is uh, make sure you check and see. Uh, what would the simplified or expanded form be? So x squared minus 5x squared gives you negative 4x squared. And now from that form we can see power and coefficient, both real numbers. So this is a power function. Okay. And then finally, 3x plus 6. Again, we have uh, our something being added on the outside. So that would be considered or not considered a power function. Okay. All right. So one of the things that you're going to be asked, and it will be in the next section, so we'll talk about it probably on um, uh, Thursday, uh, and that is to identify polynomials. Polynomials are different than power functions.